Hey guys, this is a quick video to go over one of the most common questions I get all the time, which is the confusion around the difference between the Windows 10 Pro, Windows 10 Enterprise, and Windows 10 IoT Enterprise. So Windows 10 IoT Enterprise is the embedded edition. They replaced the word embedded with IoT for Internet of Things, and that, that confused a lot of people. Um, because they're looking for the embedded or they're looking for Windows 10 Enterprise or IoT Enterprise, you can see where the confusion comes in. It's around the name. Um, but Windows 10 IoT Enterprise, it is the full version of Windows 10 Enterprise with additional lockdown features, uh, management capability, the ability to control the uh, Windows updates, um, and, and use a long-term service branch edition. It also you know, will run all classic Windows apps and universal apps, just like the regular version of Windows 10. Um, one of the differences, however, is, is is people get confused between the three editions here. So there, there's certainly more editions of Windows 10 out there, but let's focus on these three because the, this is where the confusion comes in. So Windows 10 Pro on the left, that's what you can buy on a, an OEM dot device. If you get a laptop or a system from an OEM, it typically will come with Home or Pro. The Pro is the current branch for business, so you're going to get Windows 10 features push down to that machine, you only have the ability to defer them for 8 to 12 months, but ultimately those new features are going to come down to that device. So if you're an OEM building an appliance, uh, those things could come down and break your appliance. You're not going to like that. You're going to want the long-term service branch. So you're going to want to not go with Pro. The IoT Enterprise LTSB edition is the one you want. Here's where the confusion comes in. Windows 10 Enterprise, it is a volume upgrade only. The only way to get Windows 10 Enterprise is to first have a PC with a full OEM license on it and then buy the very expensive $294 volume upgrade. This is typically used in corporate America or companies that have enterprise agreements or companies that, you know, for their internal use that want management capabilities to control all of the systems um, that their employees have. It's a very expensive upgrade. Typically, you, you you need to combine the 139 and the 294 to get you know to spend over $400 for a single Windows 10 Enterprise license. The difference here for OEMs building appliances is, is you have access to what's called Windows 10 IoT Enterprise 2016, shown on the far right, and the, and that is a full OEM license. So you don't need to buy additional products, and you're getting the full Windows 10 Enterprise. Uh, product but with additional lockdown features and things removed from it. So if you look at this comparison, you'll see that the IoT LTSB edition strips out all of the app, uh, items on the right side, uh, which is your Bing News, Bing Weather, Bing Sports, the Xbox, the store, all that stuff is removed because that's typically focused on consumers, not for an appliance. So that stuff is taken out by default. And then they give you the long-term service branch, which gives you the full control um, and no new features will come down. You can lock in your image, not have to worry about any new Windows 10 features coming down and blocking it. So it is based on the build version 1607, which is July 2016. It's locked into that build version. You will get security patches, but no new Windows features, so your appliance is safe. You don't have to worry about that. Here's where the big confusion is, the name. So after you install the product, you won't see the name IoT anywhere. So if you're looking for it out in the MSDN subscriptions, you won't see IoT out there. Um, and also, if you you know if you download from the Software Order Center, I have videos on the channel that show you how to do that as well. You won't see IoT in the name. It confuses people because they think, is this the Enterprise Edition or is this the IoT Edition? So if you see that it has LTSB, um, just like that, you know you have the the embedded IoT Edition, and also you can also tell it's by not having the Xbox in the store and the other apps in there. So if you have questions on Windows 10, IoT, Enterprise, or how to get started with the embedded program, reach us at msembedded at arrow.com or comment below. Thank you, guys.